that Stalin bolt. So, once again, I did not record this. Um, I'm showing this because I'm going to play a replay of it. Um, a lot of times I jinx myself. I, you know, that's my thought. I jinx myself because I end up trying to record something. I'm thinking it's going to be good footage, and it turns out to be the shittiest game I've ever played. So, a lot of times I don't record purposely because that just puts additional pressure on me to get good footage. And so what happens is, is uh, I end up having a good game, and I have to play the, I guess, uh, replay, replay through uh, War Thunder. So, uh, highlights of note, uh, I flew out a Russian lineup, um, and I ended up getting 11 kills um, and not dying in the P-47D27, which is a Russian uh, Lin-Lease uh, plane. Um, I decided to forego the uh, bombs um, because I... I didn't want to dive down and uh, uh, and bomb. Um, that sacrifices your your altitude advantage, um, and I didn't want to do that. And because I didn't do that, I ended up getting 11 kills. So let's see here: nine critical hits, which is actually pretty significant. Um, usually, I don't get that many critical hits, but uh, uh, we'll look at the footage shortly. Um, 37 hits uh, was busy 90% of the time which is actually really good especially considering this map which is Merchant Fleet it's a big wide open map uh, lots of sky and I was up in the four or five thousand and some in some cases six thousand uh, meter range um, so we failed the mission so we didn't get the additional uh, bonuses tied to that um, but because this is a premium plane and because I'm running uh, a premium account, uh, we got a pretty good, uh, a hefty uh, uh, amount of research points. Um, we use that to research the Yak 9P, which I, for some reason, I haven't researched yet. Um, and some of it went to the Mark of Distinction award, which will allow me four slots. But since I'm running premium, I'm already running four slots. Um, that that's that's one of the perks of premium. Um, so I got balancer, uh, destroy the most vehicles in, of one BR rank higher. Uh, Terror of the sky, uh, survivor, fighter's nightmare. Um, rank does not matter, um, and the kills were spread out, so there are no. Uh, I couldn't chain the kills together. But yeah, I ended up getting uh, the highest uh, uh, raw point score across both both teams, as well as getting the most kills outright across both teams. This guy came in a close second. Um, I wasn't even monitoring that. I was just playing. I was just having fun, and it felt really good. Um, I need to do that more often. Um, don't worry about the objectives and, and you know sometimes I do that but uh, maybe I need to be doing more of that and less of trying to meet uh, uh, challenge goals and and getting awards and stuff like that um, but anyways let me save the replay real quick see if we finish one any of these awards we got we killed two attackers which I wish there would have been more um, but at that you know it was getting busy and people were chasing me up there so I didn't want to get greedy and end up ruining a good kill streak by trying to dive down low to get attackers it was lucky that I could get those two um, so three more and I'll be done with this I'm trying to do the war bonds yes um, okay let's hop to it I'm getting distracted here so let's get on with it
So the first thing, first thing I'm gonna do is I am going to climb, and I'm climbing like a maniac here. I think I was using. Let me see here. I was trying to climb at a twenty, between a twenty and thirty degree uh, climb. Then I had to taper off when uh, wet run out. I can better get away with climbing 30 uh, degrees when I have wet. And that's what I'm doing right now because you can barely see a drop off there. And then I make a compromise and drop down to maybe 27 so that I could uh, not lose any more speed. And I'm doing good. And the thing about the the P47s is the higher they get the stronger they get and uh, after a while I'm not having any problems uh, gaining speed while climbing at an aggressive angle so now I'm at 300 meters I mean uh, 300 uh, above 300 plus kph and I am still climbing like a maniac I'm at the uh, 5100 meter mark now and this guy is awfully close, this yellow jacket guy. And at first I was like, he's coming to get me. And then I see that he's trying to get one of our attackers. So I go down and I get him. He's not far. Thing is, he sees me coming. And I did touch him there. And we get into a bit of a tussle here. I've got a ton of energy. And I overshoot. And I'm trying to stay untouchable here. So I'm maneuvering a bit. I have enough. I have lots of energy. I can kind of expend. And right now I'm at 170 kph. I'm bending around. Um, let me see. I have plat flaps deployed. I bring them back in. I pop them again. I crit him, but he's not he's not done. Now he's done. And surprisingly he didn't come back to get me, you know, revenge. Uh to get revenge. And I was like actually looking for that. And I, I think he might have had it in mind because there he is right there and he at one point it looked like he was coming into my general direction but thought better of it since uh, when he spawned in I was already close to uh, 5,000 meters so it would have been a wasted effort on his part and I would have killed him again so that's good a lot of people don't realize that uh, sometimes it's better to stay low let someone have the the altitude advantage. There's the, the sky is huge. You know you can you can stay maybe uh, two to three meters under someone that has the high ground and still get tons of kills. I've done it before. You know at some you know sometimes I try and play king of the hill and realize that I'm spending most of the match climbing and. I decided not to do that and what happens is I end up getting uh, more kills than the guy that's trying to play uh, King of the Hill. So now I've got some juicy targets, targets 2 to 3k under me, well actually 3k. That guy is under 3 and he is my target. So first the Yak, then the Key 45 I believe. And then the P-38 there, and then another P-38. Key 45. You should have just dove. Once I set him on fire, that's it. P-38's close by. I want a little bit more altitude. 
because I have no idea what these other guys are doing. I'm trying to keep good situation uh, situational awareness of the sky, but uh, these guys are kind of close. To, they're higher than I thought that they would be. So P37, P38 there. No. I'm scanning around. There's a P-38 coming my way. I pull up. Looks like he's trying to come after me. He's climbing aggressively. And what I'm doing is I'm looking for contrails. Or, you know, I'm also looking at the, uh, the range counter. And trying to see how the plane is oriented. There's the contrails. He shouldn't have done that. And most of my kills are people climbing up at me. I think I get another P-38 kill, but I'm not sure. Yeah, he's actually close right there. He must be climbing because uh, it was at a, uh, the range counter was at a steady rate. Okay, we see contrails as well. Instant kill. That's kill number five. I love these new sounds of some of these planes, but my plane is too loud. Can't hear shit. And it gets worse from the side view. Rear view is not bad. Front view is not bad. This guy's climbing up at me as well. It's one of the guys I just killed. He hasn't learned his lesson. So at this point, I've been looking at the contrails. Stalled him out. It's kill number six. I think this... I'm trying to remember what's next. I think the MiG might be next. The MiG's looking at me. No, he's looking at the PBY. And that's when I decided to dive in to help. But he's already popped off a few and I think he... He damages the plane. So again, we got Contrails coming off of him. He should have known better. Who is next? That uh, Japanese plane. He's actually going to peek up at me. The D3A1. Which is usually a pretty, uh, a very agile plane. I usually don't have lots of luck in killing those things because uh, they usually have very good flyers. Um, but he came up at me. He wasted a lot of energy. Watch him bend up and bend around. I don't know what he was thinking. He was quick about it, though. He doesn't have the guns to be doing that. He's got the agility, but uh, my aim was true. It was truer than his. So I'm wondering if the P3, the P2 is coming at me. I'm not sure at this point. Either way, he doesn't have as much energy as I do, or potential energy either. And we're at kill number eight, and I'm trying to figure out who is next. There is a Spitfire under me that's eyeing me, as well as that lag. The lag is acting like he wants revenge. I'm climbing aggressively, and his range uh, indicator shows that he might be climbing up at me. And so I'm wrapping around, spiral diving a bit trying to get a, a good angle on him and I know he's stalling out there's contrails right there that's kill number nine and yeah he's got to be getting pissed I've killed that guy several times already I've killed him maybe once maybe twice I think once but I, I have no idea 
what he's doing either. He should not be doing that. He should just be going about his business. I don't care. I don't care what plane you're in. Um, at this point, I know that he's going to be slow, and I'm not even waiting for the contrails. I'm just booming down him. But there you go. There's the contrails. He's lost control. Stalled out or close to it, and uh, that's kill number ten. And I think I have one more in me. And it's the yak. The guy, the guy won't quit. And what he's doing is he's side climbing. But he's been very obvious about it. I haven't checked any of these guys. expect that this guy, the guy that I'm talking now, will be doing that, but you'd think that he would learn over time. The other guy should know better. This guy here. He's level 60. The object is to learn from your mistakes, not to keep repeating them. So, uh, Pretty sure he can see them diving down. And he's dove down. And now he's leveled off. And I'm like, you know what? There's nothing he can do to stop me. There's nothing that he can have in his bag of tricks, if he has any, that's gonna hurt me. Now he does the right thing here. He split, he split S's. But I did crit him. And what he does is he immediately tries to come up at me. Well, not yet. He's coming up at me here. And so I'm like, you know what? Let me climb and stall him out again. And we're going a bit more vertical trying to see if he starts losing speed. And you can tell he's losing speed. So I decide to tuck down. And he's shooting at me, which tells me he's still pointed up. And we should see contrails. Yep. didn't learn his lesson. So now I see that this guy's over here, he side climbed, and this guy is trying to waylay me as well. And I know the match is ending. I have nothing to risk. And so I just, I take my energy and I go away from him. And I'm pulling away pretty hard. And I get no more kills after this. And after a while, I start climbing a bit to see if I can get... Because I look at the key 43 and I was like, oh, that's an easy kill right there. Um, certainly not going to outgun me. I just can't get in turn fights with it. But the match ends. So, great game. A great way to highlight... I, I think this is my first P-47 uh, uh, Stalin Bolt um, video since uh, the end of the uh, anniversary sale, since, you know, when I bought the plane. So uh, it's a good way to highlight the plane. It's it's no different than the other P-47s, uh, the D variants at least. Um, it's just as strong. Um, ammunition. Uh, ammunition wise or load wise hold on a second here it can't carry the same loads as the US variant but at least you can carry I mean because it's a Lin lease um, the uh, the uh, Hitler bolt um, it's a captured plane it's not a Lin lease plane so um, you can't hook up bombs to it so But anyways, um, again, this is a great plane. Um, once it gets to a certain height, 
um, it climbs really good um, you just have to kind of get through that initial kind of slowish uh, climb rate um, guns are the same everything else is the same I mean everything except the bomb load is the same it's the exact same um, you can see I still got free repairs here um, The max rewards there are showing there. Um, yes, again, it's a premium plane. But yeah, fun match.